500 subscribers. I'm honestly really thankful for that. Thank you guys for, for 500 subscribers and for all the support for the first competition video I made. It's time to do a Q&A. So you've seen me do a bunch of community posts and a video announcing the Q&A and I'm gonna be answering a bunch of questions from those which actually I didn't get as much, but probably a bit more than my last Q&A while I was still on Minecraft channel. And I'm also gonna answer some questions from the Instagram post I made, which actually there, there were only like four comments on there, but whatever, they're all different questions. So I guess that counts. Let's get right into it. Hi. Hi. Most unique cube that you own? Probably this. It is a three by three, but like I have not figured out how to turn it whatsoever um yeah i just took this part and put it back together because i have no idea how i'm supposed to solve this <laughs> comment down below if, if anybody knows the name of it and maybe i can find a tutorial on how to do it because i don't want to learn how to actually do this <laughs> when did you start learning to solve cubes how did you get into solving rubik's cubes same questions whatever in 2017 i just looked at the tv and i saw a rubik's cube there i think it was scrambled and I want to figure out how to solve it. I literally start turning the cube and like didn't know how to solve it. And that's when everything started. I went to the cubicles tutorial like at first. I, I searched up a bunch of Rubik's Cube tutorials and if Jperm's tutorial was there, I probably would have learned it a bit quicker, but since it was not, I had to use the cubicles tutorial, I think a bunch of other tutorials and yeah, here I am now. I then like followed a bunch of like other like Jperm tutorials over the years to like get faster and then I just started learning PLLs and just OLLs or whatever. I don't even know like full OLL. <laughs> I'm just, I, I think I know full PLL now, but like not full OLL at this point. Are you sponsored by the Cubicle or Speed Cube Shop yet? Unfortunately, not yet. I probably need to send a bunch of emails, but honestly, it would be really cool for me to actually be sponsored by Speed Cube Shop or Cubicle. It's just, uh, I probably need to send like a bunch of emails to get sponsored for it. What is your favorite cube to solve? Honestly, I think it's a tie between the Tengu, the Tornado V3, the Waylong WRM Maglev, the GAN 13, and the Volk. I only got this recently, and I honestly like the feel of the Volk, but all of the other ones are honestly pretty good, like the like the GAN 13, the Tornado V3 with the soft feel, and the Waylong because of also its soft feel, and the purple internals, and the Tengu because it's just so quiet and nice. I'll give you guys a bonus here. Time to solve one cube here and I'm also gonna go to the Grand King. How did you grow so fast? Okay, um, this actually doesn't make- because, like, I started uploading when I had, like, 300 subs on this channel. Um, I used to be a Minecraft channel. This channel had, like, three different types of content, and originally, I used to do- then after that, I became a Minecraft channel, and then when that didn't go well, I switched to cubing, which is what I'm doing right now, and- it went so well so far. The, the Gan X video I made for some reason just like blew up and now I'm here. So I'm honestly glad that I'm kind of growing now. Hopefully I can get to 1k. I didn't really expect to see this. Is Johnny your favorite kickball mascot? Objectively, if- Actually, I saw like some guy with a banana costume, but like the main costume was literally what carried us to victory. <laughs> no wonder how we became like undefeated last year. So hopefully this year when he brings his Jesus costume, we will win again. What did you learn to be so 20 on three by three? Um, I think it's mainly just learning more advanced F2 techniques. I don't really know all the algorithms yet. And then learning a bunch of OLLs and PLLs and learning how to do cross efficiently. I'm still kind of working on both getting cross done more efficiently and also I need to learn how to I need to learn how to plan cross and first F12 pair and inspection. Yeah, I think mainly what I've been doing is just practicing solves and while also doing that I've also been just like practicing certain parts of the solve like sometimes just cross, sometimes just cross and F2L and yeah, like I've been doing 
some of that. I've also seen like Cube's head video on like doing two gen, like, both for my right hand and my left hand. I kind of figured I'm more used to my right hand for most things. Um, like for two-handed cubing. So I did that, yeah. And it's just a lot of doing solves and practicing for me at least. I have took a bunch of half a year or year long breaks from cubing a bunch, but now that I'm kind of doing this for YouTube, I'm probably gonna keep practicing cubing a lot. So hopefully I see a bunch of improvement there. And I, I think all I do- Say hi, Crystal. Have you ever broken a cube in range? No, I actually have not. I mean, I think the only times I've broken cubes were just when I decided to take them apart and I ended up accidentally breaking something or maybe just doing something dumb like falling on my back while I was like sitting down on the floor and not knowing my cubes were in that bag or maybe like dropping it on the floor or something. Like I've never dropped the cube while in rage or whatever like never actually broken it compare and contrast the best and worst cubes you own okay so the best cubes i have are probably tied between the gan 13 maglev x-man tornado v3 flagship version and the waylon wrn 2021 maglev and honestly with all of these these have their own different qualities like the gan oh wait that's not the gan the gan has like the auto aligning system where like when you turn it at some point it will just finish the turn for you and it's actually been working quite good for me, but I'm gonna leave that up to the review um, that I'm gonna be uploading probably later this week or next week, I don't know when. The Tornado V3, because of its soft feel and like the really quiet sound, like how like, smooth it is, how tactile it is. Yeah, like how it's pretty good, like this is my main. And the way long WR Maglev because of the purple internals, the nice feel, that's pretty much the best cubes I have. The worst cubes, probably my Rubik's brands. Not this one because that's an, that's supposed to be their actual speed cube, but the 2.0 ones, which yeah, they're pretty bad. They're really loud. Um, I'll give you a one second sound test. You, you know what it will sound like. Thank God they fixed the newer Rubik's brands and they like, came out with one of I think one of these ones is the new one. What is your PB and what is your fastest average? So I hope my PB is 1156 and my average of 5 is 1553. And in competition my PB or PR is 1437 and my average is 1725. Congrats on 500 subs. What was your first cube? So my first cube other than the Rubik's brand is an MF3RS. Um, originally, when I got it, it kind of felt really good. It was like one of the best budget cubes at that time. And yeah, it was like going well, although I, for whatever reason, thought it was a good idea to lube it with like water and butter and hand soap for some reason. Actually, no, I think it was dish soap, but like it made it turn like a lot better. I think I also learned how to kind of tension after messing around with the Rubik's brand before that. And one day I decided to try to make a Siamese cube with that cube and the MF3RS and I got a bunch of super glue residue on the MF3RS and then after that um like I just got rid of all the stickers so it was completely unsolvable or I guess it's just always solved because there's like one color on the whole face of the cube and after that I think I, I ended up breaking one of the corners and then I turned it into a edges only three by three and yeah i just put it in a box just left it there i don't know i didn't want to use it again like i could have just bought replacement corner pieces or whatever if i actually learned that like shops like cubicle or speed cube shop sell those types of pieces but alas i just put it in a box never to be used ever again and then i wanted to try out an mf3s again because i don't know why so i decided to just go on ebay and buy another one i just left it completely like out of the box i think actually, no, i don't think i even tensioned it whatsoever i just left it as it is out of the box a stickered one specifically because to i guess mimic my original cube and yeah it just lays on the shelf now but but at least it has a better life than my original MF3RS, so that's that. Did you ever quit cubing? Honestly, I guess if taking a half a year to year long break counts. So ever since I started cubing, I would have like times where I would cube a lot, like buy some new cubes and then just completely take a break and do something else for a bit. And that's basically happened throughout my entire time cubing. And I think the last time I did that was actually at the end of last year where I 
started like cubing again and then i took a break and then back in august i decided to get back into cubing again completely switch my content from minecraft to cubing and here i am now i guess i probably might not take a break from cubing ever again maybe like a short like week break if i feel like i don't want to cube but i think for the most part i'm probably gonna be staying within cubing and now that i'm going to competitions it's probably gonna leave me more motivated to cube so yeah um i think that's pretty much it um Thank you for 500 subscribers and here's to another 500 subscribers um get me to 1k maybe like early next year or something or maybe by the end of this year i think that's gonna be a bit ambitious yeah um, i think at 1k i'll probably teach a few people how to cube so, like some people who say they can't really cube or whatever just want to prove people that they can easily just solve the cube and yeah maybe i'll make a tutorial um I don't know. It depends. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Here's to another 500 subscribers, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.